I got involved in this project when Catherine Ertel, who was, a, who was a then a PhD student working with Frank DeSalvo in chemistry, just finishing her PhD, um, came to ask me if I would be interested in a project having to do with, with pipe organs. She knew that I was a, a musician in a former life. I was a musician before I became an engineer and also a metallurgist. It turns out that, that for pipe organs everywhere, one of, their, one of the real critical issues now, and this is not just true of pipe organs, but of, of cultural artifacts everywhere, is that corrosion has started to accelerate in the last couple of decades. So instruments that have existed for 600 years are, and have been played and enjoyed for 600 years are starting to rather quickly fall apart. So Catherine was aware of this problem and called me to see if I was interested in this. And she put together a program with the, the Go Art Institute. This is the Gothenburg Organ Art Institute, I think, um, in, in Sweden. Made the contacts with the people there. And we started looking into the metallurgy of, of pipe organs. She won a uh, National Science Foundation Discovery Fellow Award, which allowed her to, to put this project together. It's not all science. It's some music, some art, uh, and uh, put it all together. And then we worked on that project for a couple of years. We were able to, to use some of the advanced technologies and measurement tools that we have at Cornell to study corrosion in, in detail of these lead tin alloys that these pipes are made out of and made some interesting, interesting discoveries that I think will be, will be helpful. Um, so, we've, so I've already had postdoc and students working at this and thinking about it and, and using some of the fantastic infrastructure that we have at Cornell to, to sort of understand these problems in detail. So it's been fun.